Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome if you're new, welcome if you're a returning subscriber. My name is Chitra Moon. Today we're gonna look at what gossip is being spread about you. We've got five beautiful images in front of you. You're gonna go with the one that you feel the most gravitated towards. Yes, if you want to, you can choose more than one pile. We totally welcome that here. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to choose, starting now. Okay, so if you were attracted to image one, before we get into your reading, a couple things to note. This could be a very triggering type of reading. Um, listen, sometimes people, you know, uh, they can spread gossip about us. That's not necessarily true. Or they can be people who are not seeing us correctly. But I want you to know that as long as you have confidence in who you are as a person, that is all that matters. Now, if you want to catch the extended reading, which will pinpoint who exactly is spreading this gossip, you can find that through my Patreon platform. The link will be in the description box as well as the comment section. And with my Patreon platform, you are able to access eight pick a cards more than what you get on YouTube each and every month. So it's a really good deal. Um, if there's anything that you like about the reading or if it resonates at all, please consider letting me know through the feedback, your feedback through the comment section. I love reading your guys' comments. As well as if you'd like to book a private reading, check the last links in the description box. Okay, so let's get into your reading pile one. So I do have the temperance here, the temperance card. I have incorporated it. Now I chose to incorporate it because I feel like if you were drawn to it, there should be a reason for that. There absolutely is a reason for that. So let's talk a little bit about the temperance here. You know, the temperance card is a very universal card. It's a very spiritual card. I feel like I could be speaking to people here who are watching, who are very open um, about, you know, being, you know, spiritual, um, you know, people who are, you know, in a good place, really in a good place, um, spiritually, um, very peaceful, very modest, very calm, patient type people, as well as people who are, very balanced, you know, in their views, their perceptions of things. And I just feel like, you know, we're talking about gossip, but I feel like you may get gossip about because this is just like, this is just the natural law of attraction in a sense, you know, um, you're going to get this when you're like this. Okay. You're not functioning on a lower vibration. You're functioning on a higher vibration and that higher vibra vibration will trigger people. Okay. But with the temperance, you could just be very, again, very Zen. Um, a person who again, believes in, you know, your side, my side, the truth, um, is not very quick reacting, I feel like I'm getting some people who are gossiping about you in the sense of why you're not more vocal. Why are you not having my back? Why don't you get involved more? Um, they may even see some things about your own life um, that you kind of take, but really you just don't care. Maybe someone, you know, could be, you know, being rude to you, but you're just like, again, in that place of peace. So you don't react and they don't understand it. So you could get labeled with the temperance, a pushover, but you're so far from that, okay? So far from with that. And the temperance as well, interesting enough, um, it's a very modest card. So you could be super wealthy or have wealth, but nobody would know it. Um, so I do feel like there's a lot of curiosity as well too. There could be things that you are purchasing um, and people see it, you know, they see little glimpses of, glimpses of it here and there and wonder how you're getting it. It could be for some of you. Um, but I feel like here, you know, you don't judge a book by its cover at all with the temperance. And I think a lot of people um, who may be gossiping about you want you to. They really do want you to. And this could go even any different way, guys, you know, politically. They want you to get involved or have an opinion. Maybe you don't do politics. <clears throat> I agree with that. Unless you've got somebody who's very open or a soul tribe member, I feel like getting into politics could be very dangerous uh, because people just are not really in a space to understand that everybody has the right to, you know, their own thinking. But I just feel like with the temperance, people feel like you hold back emotionally. You're just not expressive. 
They want more of that. Now, there could be a million reasons as to why you're not like that. Maybe it's these particular people that you don't feel comfortable around who are gossiping around about you and around you. Um, and that's why you are maybe putting on the temperance energy. But that's what the temperance will stand for. Now, we've got unrequited love and we've got experiencing a breakup. I feel like those who are watching, you need to be very careful about who you're talking to about love, okay, with. Um, somebody who you are confiding in is going around and talking about, and I mean in a very nasty way, because if you look at this, okay, if you look at this card, um, you know, she's all into this mannequin. It's very symbolic for something that is not felt the other way around. And I feel like there are people who are laughing about this, okay? Maybe somebody that you like, a crush you may have. Um, why can't this person just see that that person's not into them? Like, but it, it feels malicious to me. So I really want you to be careful when it comes to your love, your love interests or the situation around love of who you like or, you know, if something's not working out who you're confiding in, but that's what they're spreading gossip about. Now, you've also got that on this side, divorce, experiencing a breakup. So there could be something, you know, that you've experienced recently about, you know, with regards to a breakup. But I'm also going to say something else that um, you may be getting a little tidbit here in this reading that this gossip could be coming from somebody who you've li literally just, you know, broken up with. And you know, the breaking up can be um, very symbolic. And I'm not saying that you're not talking to them anymore, but maybe it's starting to go south. Um, and that's who's kind of coming through here. That's just a little tidbit because the extended reading will offer more. Um, but yeah, this for me, I feel like is really pointed to love. And somebody is having a good laugh on your account about what you're dealing with through love. And if you are single or you're not being able to find somebody, um, this could also be with respect to that, like the fact that you can't find anybody and why that may be. That's what they're gossiping about. I don't want to get too detailed with that because it could get very nasty because I do feel malicious here. It's malicious. Now, if you have a partner and you are just kind of, you know, maybe confiding in others while you're having your downtimes, um, this also can apply to you too. So just be very careful. Um, we've got the imposter card here. I feel like, uh, there could be also gossip being spread about you being fake, you not really being, you know, who you present yourself to be. Um, this could also be with the imposter card, not really getting to know you, or it's difficult to know you. Um, there's a lot of, I feel like accusations made about who you really are. Um, there, it's almost like they're jumping ahead without even getting to know who you are and making these presumptions of who you really are. Like just for example, maybe they're kind of saying, oh yeah, she pretends to be like this and that, but she's probably like this, something along those lines. So with the imposter card, um, it's very malicious. And this is why I said this reading could be, you know, very triggering. Um, there's also, I feel like, comments um, and gossip being made on your accountability, your reliability. We've got stringing you along and empty promises. I feel like people don't consider you um, reliable. Um, you're never there. You're never there when I need you. Um, and again, this could be far from the truth, guys. But this is just what gossip is. And... Gossip usually is, um, it's fabricated a lot of the time, but I just feel like here people just don't feel like you've got their back or that you are, you know, available. Maybe you break a lot of promises to them. Um, maybe this has to do even with plans. You're not reliable with plans. It's just constantly, I feel like unpredictability with you. Um, there's a lot of, I feel like annoying energy here now, like on these people's part. Okay. Now this also is very, um, interesting with the junk drawer. So this could point to two things. Either people consider you a messy person or you just can't, you know, get yourself together or this represents your life. Okay. And again, I think with those who are watching pile one, if you tend to be a person who shares, 
because you consider these people friends or family. With this pile, it's definitely getting repeated, okay? Um, with the junk drawer as well, there could be comments about getting your life together. You need to get your life together. Your life is chaotic. You don't know what you're doing. You're never on time. Maybe this is also has a lot to do with the empty promises and the stringing along because maybe you're just not in a place where you have that type of time for people. I know I don't, you know, I feel like people these days are very needy, you know, and, um, it's almost like they just don't understand that people are busy, you know, and that they have their own life. It's like, they just think they show up and then, you know, they're going to just have you on a schedule. So I understand this, but, um, with the junk drawer, I don't know. There's a lot of unsolicited advice as well, too. I wonder if they're making even comments to your face with this pile. I feel like with this pile, there could be like little hints dropped. And that is also being uh, shown to me so that you can get an idea who, of who's doing this. Because I think with these people, they may not be the brightest. And they may actually be very vocal about this because because I feel like you're a temperance energy. You, you could be very calm. They could feel very safe to approach this, you know, to you. So I feel like some of them have made comments. But for the most part, there's a lot being done behind your back. Now, with the truth lives, this could also be I'm hearing like I can't believe he or she said that to me. You could have this thing. And with the truth lives, I'm getting this like almost like this you know, fire sign energy, because the fire signs do this. And I'm not saying that you're one, I'm just equating what I see to energy, where you put your foot in your mouth, but really, it's the truth. You know, it's something that needs to be said. Um, but it pops out, I feel like, very randomly, okay. And it could be with the temperance that you suppress a lot. But I feel like a lot of people have comments to, to, to make about what you said to them. It was very triggering. And I feel like she's holding... Okay, am I going to be able to pick this up? <laughs> She's holding a sword in her hand, okay? So I think these things cut, they cut deeply, I feel like, but it's the truth, okay? So you're not in the wrong for this, and I think it needed to be expressed, but there's a lot of comments here and gossip about, you know, your mouth and what you say and how there's no boundaries and no filters in those random moments. I think for the most part, you're very peaceful, but I think you can let something go. And maybe um, when you are saying it, it is actually very peaceful. It's just maybe under the breath or very calmly. We, we all know that truth can be spoken in many different ways. It doesn't have to be, you know, um, you know, in a crazy way. It can be done very subtly. OK, uh, but there's also I feel like comments or gossip being spread about that. Um, you know what you said, how it hurt, um, how it was out of line. Um, the way you talked to me, the way you spoke to me, who are you? So with this pile, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of gossip around who you are as a person and who you really are, what you're showing the world. I feel like there's also a lot of gossip about how you portray yourself to others that maybe people don't, those people don't know you yet. And maybe other people who are watching and saying, oh, you'll find out about them, you know, something along those lines. Maybe they watch you act a certain way towards strangers and people think you're the nicest person but these people actually are um i feel like out to get you in a sense where you know they may even you know want to change people's minds about you when they don't even know you very well so this is like smear campaign as well type of energy um other uh, the other thing here is like your love life is being put on display or talked about behind your back as well as your reliability, your accountability, and your life as a whole, uh, the way it functions, you know, with the junk drawer, it's just chaos, absolute chaos. And then again, with the truth lives, the comments that you make, you know, things that you say that uh, hit people the wrong way, but it's the truth. And that's what I love is that, you know, if it's the truth, it means it's, you know, should be said. So with this pile, um, very interesting. Again, I hope you were not triggered. Let me know how you felt about this reading through the comment section. I love reading your comments and catch that extended reading if you'd like. It's there for you in the comment section or the description box. Take care, guys. Hi, pile two. Okay, before we get into your reading, a couple of things to note. 
this could be a very triggering reading, okay? I just want to put it out there as a warning. Um, you know, some things that could come through might not be so nice, but just remember that as long as you have confidence and, you know, in yourself and love yourself, that will be all that matters. Now, also remember that the way people view us is not necessarily the truth. Um, so again, take the reading with a grain of salt. Um, look at it with, the, you know, entertainment purposes only eyes and you will be fine. Um, if you'd like to catch the extended reading, I will be offering it through my Patreon platform. Um, you may want to check out my Patreon platform. Uh, you will be able to access eight extra pick a card readings from me per month. Again, eight more. Um, it's a really good deal. Um, so I will put that in the comment section as well as in the description box. And that will extended reading will point to who exactly is spreading this gossip. Okay. We're going to dive deep on that. Um, as well as if you'd like to book a private reading, check the last links with the within the description box. You can reach me that way. If there's anything that you know resonates with you uh, with this reading, please consider leaving a comment, liking the video. I would love to see your feedback. Read your comments. I love reading them, guys. Okay, let's get into it. Now, I've incorporated the strength card into this reading because I feel like if you are gravitated towards it, it must mean something. It will mean something. So let's talk about the strength card first and foremost. Um, I feel like if the strength card is representing you and, you know, the gossip that's being spread, you could technically be a very, very, very strong individual, a person who's very connected um, to themselves. They know who they are. Um, I feel like with this pile, you're a lot to take in, okay? I feel like you will definitely have to find your soul tribe with this group, people who get you, understand you, because I feel like with uh, this group, you could be quite intimidating because again, you know, if you look at this card, she is connected to her higher self, so uh, she's kind of, you know, um, unlocked the key, you know, that, you know, most people are looking to do. Um, and you've got that down pack. You know who you are. You're confident in who you are. <clears throat> you're in a good space. But I think you also light up the room. So again, um, I think with this group, you probably are watching the video with a lot of intent because... You probably know there's a lot of people gossiping about you a lot and you probably see it. You probably see that you trigger a lot of people even entering upon a room um, and you kind of are very curious as to kind of what's going on here. So being represented by the strength card, um, again, you could light up the room. Um, again, that confidence, um, that energy about you. Um, <clears throat> with the strength card as well, um, you may be very brave, okay, very brave uh, and high, have like a higher level of self-confidence. Um, but I just, I feel like you could be also very fla fun and flamboyant and colorful. Um, but I think you definitely could appreciate attention. Um, I think you are cool with it. You love compliments. And I think people around you um, also are watching this. And I think it's, again, being misconstrued. With the strength card, um, you will probably give off a lot of competitive vibes, even though you're not competing with anybody. This pile really competes with themselves. They always want to be better than who they are the next day or the next year. I don't think you're into competition whatsoever, but for some reason, I feel like people are taking your energy, your personality, and trying to compete with you which is pretty sad, um, pretty sad. Um, so let's look at these cards around. Um, we've got belligerent, okay, sitting to the left. I think this belligerent card could talk about the fact that you have, you know, you could have a mouth on you, but to me, I feel like we're speaking the truth. We are not letting anyone run over us. There could be a lot of gossip, and I mean like your whole life, this could be a common theme of talking about your mouth and the fact that, you know, um, you've always got something to say, you've always got something to say back. Um, the strength card is not really an obedient card. She, she only beats, you know, to the, uh, she only dances to the beat of her own drum. She doesn't necessarily take orders. Okay. Um, again, she only listens to her higher self. And I feel like with the belligerent card, I feel like this could be people who have tried to mess with you. 
um, or they say things to you that were not in alignment with like, you know, who you are. And I think you have also been very vocal about this, but you could be very vocal in general. And I think people are taking it as a loud mouth, um, a rude mouth. Um, I'm feeling like we might have some Gemini's here. I don't know why. I, I feel like we might have some Gemini's here or some air signs. Um, but you don't have to be one. But with the belligerent, I feel like this could be talking out, out, out your mouth, um, hitting me out of nowhere. Um, maybe even talking to me in a particular way that I don't like. Um, this is like a common theme, I feel like, with people who are getting together and maybe gossiping about you. And it's, it's a lot of it. A lot of it's like the way you talk to like me, way you talk to me. And you maybe you maybe just like being yourself. You could be blunt. I'm very blunt. I get taken very wrong, even in my readings, because um, actually, no, for the most part, people really love the bluntness. But here and there, I'll get somebody who's like, wow, that's harsh. It's not harsh. It's just it's not me. It's the readings. It's the cards <laughs> spirit. Um, and that's just the way I, you know, in, like vocalize it out. You know, I interpret it and I vocalize it out. But we could have like a very bold person very bold you could even be a person who is not afraid to stir the pot like and say something um you know i i can have that as well too you know when people are acting dumb or they're, they're talking about something that they think they know they're talking about what they're talking about i'll be that one to chime in and be like oh no you have you done your research yeah i know you need to look into this or whatever um i'll be that one you know i'm that one that stops the room so there could be a lot about your abrasiveness but again remember it's not that you're abrasive you're just speaking you know again your mind but it could be with the belligerent card how you react how you you know take things um how you speak to us okay now we have to the right of the strength card resourceful so you've got a lot going on okay you're quite the package deal and i feel like with this resourceful card um you may have resources okay um you may have material things you may have things under your belt you may have a lot of accomplishments you know a, a really popping resume um you could just have the package deal and that could be anything if you have a, a good husband um, you know, children, the whole look, um, you just got a lot going on for yourself, but you also could have skill and talent. That's absolutely here as well. Um, actually, I don't know if you can see this, but if you look really close on the card right here, it says green witch. Okay. So it could be that also too, you've got gifts. I wouldn't be surprised here if we've got some people who are using her intuition, right? Her intuition is here. You're going to be using your intuition, um, you know, for your advantage in life. So you could be very resourceful. This is also something uh, people are talking about what you have. And that's, you know, I feel like usually off territory, but I think when people gossip about you, they're bringing it also what you have or who you have in your life. Um, and there could be a lot of nasty talk about this, like why her, why him? Why does he have these things? Why did he get these things? Why does he have access to these things? Um, but to be very fair, this could also be positive gossip, okay? There could be positive gossip here with, you know, how talented you are, uh, maybe at the family, you know, dinners. Oh, yeah, my daughter's doing this. My son's doing that, you know, bragging. There could be a lot of bragging about your resources, um, but also people could be wondering how you got these things um, and it could be nasty. So with this resourceful card, it could definitely go both ways. Now we've got the card here, um, bottom left, Encore, and we've got a bunch of people clapping. So I think people are being petty. They don't know what's so great about you. They're wondering why you're so likable. Why do you have what you have? Why are you so successful? Um, they see, I feel like, <clears throat> people around you, how they're responding to you. I do feel like with this um, crowd, you could be very likable, very likable and get on very well, you know, with what you do, how you handle yourself, um, always coming out on top. But I think the on-card card here is, you know, 
really also um, coinciding with that resourceful card. So with this um, spread, you could have a lot of people gossiping about you in a positive way, you know, like do more of what you're doing. You could have fans with this Encore card. You could be a person who is, um, again, have an audience and people are just like more, more, like just welcoming you by clapping to do more of what you've got. Um, you could be very likable. Um, so yeah, with this one, it could be quite positive. We've got independent. This, I feel like uh, the first thing I'm seeing here could be a little nasty. There could be a lot of uh, talk about the way that you live your life, you know? Oh my God, she's not married. She's 30 something years old. She should be married by now. Why is she so um, modern? You know, this could also point to people who are chirping um, about, you know, you not being traditional enough. Maybe you're very independent. You're doing your own thing. You're walking, you know, your own path. It's a path that's unheard of to most. Um, and people are just like confused by it, but they talk about it. It's very interesting to them. And I'm going to tell you, those are secret haters because I feel like with those people, when they are talking about this, they secretly wish they could be like this, but they're not. So they just want to bag on you. It makes them feel better because you're actually doing this. Okay. Where, um, they don't have the, um, you know, bravery with the strength to do it. So, it makes them feel better to talk about that in a bad light when really it's an awesome light. Um, but this could also be very positive as well, too. You know, the fact that you are independent, that you're, you know, making your own path in life. You're doing your own thing. You are taking risks. You're going into the unknown. Um, so with, the, we, with this pile, like now that I'm kind of almost done it, um, it, it looks to me like we've got maybe some people... <clears throat> on one side who are very triggered by your independence by your um your skills your resources and then we have others who are just applauding this like really want you to know how amazing you are and you know when they're doing this in the form of gossip it could be to others to let them know you know like who you are like and you know maybe they're you know connected to you so that would make sense if it's coming from the family like, again, my daughter is doing this. She, you know, got this master's degree. She's out there. She's living life. She's excelling, you know. Um, and it's interesting here now we have the trip down memory lane. Trip down memory lane. This, I feel like, is giving a little bit of a, a cue, a little bit of a hint towards who may be um, talking about you. It could be people from your past, Okay. But with the trip down memory lane, this could also be gossiping about the past. There's something I feel like with you um, who's watching, something occurred that people cannot stop talking about. It's something that you did or that you had maybe a falling out with somebody or maybe there was something you're not too, I don't know, um, proud of in your past that haunts you to this day because these people keep it alive like nobody's business. Um, but there's something very, very interesting about the past. And I, I, I do feel like it's people from the past, but this could also be the gossip that is being spread. And we're constantly going down memory lane, spreading this gossip, talking about this gossip about you, about something from the past that whoever these people are that are talking about it cannot get over. There's a big focus on the past with this pile. And I think if you get it, if you know what it is, you'll know. I don't need to do anything more. I think if it's for you, you'll understand it. Now, we've got cautiously optimistic. So, listen, some people could be like wondering what the heck, <clears throat> what the heck you're so happy about. Why are you so happy? Why are you so optimistic? Maybe your optimistic makes a lot of people sick. You know, and that could look like, you know, when they're talking to you about their miseries, you're just like, oh, it's going to be OK. Just, you know, uh, maybe you bring that spiritual things, you know, those spiritual talk. Just hope for the best. Um, believe that you can do it. And they're like, shut up. You know, there could be something about this. I feel like the fact that this is on like what technically looks like a stop sign. I think these people want you to stop with this stuff. It makes them sick. But again, like. Let's question what kind of people these are, right? Because why would you ever want to stop talking about being optimism, 
optimistic, right? But that could be something else that annoys people. Like, what is this person so happy about all the time? Like, why are they always happy? Um, you're really triggering a lot of people just by living your best life, you know? Um, it's sad, but it's real. Now, this could be for one person, okay? I don't know who this will be for. We got the gambling card. Problems with addiction or gambling or bad finances. So some people, somebody is talking about what you spend your money on and it could be anything. This addiction can be anything. It could be makeup. It could be um, shopping, um, crystals. Someone has something to say about what you spend your money on. And um, that's really interesting to me because... I mean, if it's your money, why do they care? Um, but there's a lot being talked about what you spend your money on. And like, do you need to have that? Why do you have that? Maybe you're crazy. I don't know. But this could be even um, addictions that are, you know, troubling, you know, maybe they know you have an addiction. Maybe that's what's being brought up too as well from the past. Maybe you had one in the past. And they can't let go of that. Maybe you're doing so well right now that these people just can't stop talking about the past with this particular addiction. But for the most part, there's something about your finances and how you spend your money and what you do to make maybe, maybe make money. Um, it's just it's, this is the highlight of the gossip, the tea on you. So if you'd like to catch the extended reading, that will be, again, the link will be in the comment section as well as the description box. I hope to see you there. And again, don't take anything that I said here too seriously. Uh, when it comes to gossip, what I've noticed is that these people just have nothing better to do. And um, literally, you give them life by just, you know, engaging in conversation about you. But as long as, again, you have that confidence and you feel you um, are completely content with what you're doing, that is all that matters. Thanks, guys. Hi, pal three. Okay, I'm super excited to do your reading. Um, you've got some amazing cards coming out. Um, but first I do need to take care of a couple things. So if you'd like to catch the extended reading and that extended reading will be on who exactly is talking about you, um, you can find that through the comment section or the description box within my Patreon uh, platform. That Patreon um, subscription is going to be a really good offer if you do like my style of reading and you want to see more from me. Um, you can have access or gain access to eight more readings from me per month. So it's a really good deal. Go check it out. If you'd like to book a private reading, check the last links within the description box and you can book with me over there. I do want to say that um, this reading could be very triggering, extremely triggering. So just a warning with that, um, you know, people are always going to talk and, you know, you may be very fascinating. Um, you may be giving them something to talk about. So, you know, it's not like you're doing anything bad, but just know that when people do talk about us, um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the truth. You know, people's perception of us are not always what it is. Okay. So as long as you have confidence in yourself and you're happy with what you're doing, I say that's what all that matters. Okay. Um, if you like anything that I say within this reading, um, if it resonates, please give me a comment and drop me a comment in the comment section. I would love to hear from you as well as, you know, give the video a thumbs up. It does help me and the algorithm. Okay. Let's get into it. Um, so I did put the devil card here. Um, I've done this so far with every pile. I think it's important to incorporate it because you had to have been drawn to it for a reason. Now I'm not saying that you were drawn to it because anything is wrong with you. But uh, if you're drawn to a particular card, I think it's important to incorporate it and talk about it, like what it stands for. So with the devil card here, um, automatically with this group, you are heavily being discussed. More so out of all the piles I've done so far, um, you're really talked about, like obsessively talked about. And to some people, it could be maybe even their addiction, to talk about you. It's, you know, I, I'm actually seeing people who are listening to people talk about you and getting sick of it themselves, to be honest. Um, but you could be heavily talked about. Now, the devil card is interesting as well. Um, this card, actually, if you look at uh, this uh, entity, I guess, I don't know what you want to call it on the card. Um, he's actually, and don't go taking this the wrong way. I really don't have time for that. Okay. Um, but that character himself on the card actually is uh, 
has completely transitioned, okay? Um, not maybe completely, but is kind of going through that. So if you look, um, they actually carry both, um, you know, the breasts and the other parts, okay? So it's half man, half woman. And I want you to also know that, um, and I'm not really afraid to say this, to go there, to offend, you know, because this is not about offending, but like, I want this reading to resonate with you guys. So I'm not going to be surprised if some people who are transitioning pick this pile, your transitioning itself, or maybe your belief system regarding that could be gossiped about, okay? People are gossiping about that, um, whether it's in a positive light or a negative light, I don't know, but it is being discussed, some of you, okay? Um, the devil also points to unhealthy habits, okay? Uh, lifestyle habits, um, the way you live could be uh, also heavily discussed. Uh, what you believe in, the way you take care of yourself, the way you live, what you do, what you partake in. Maybe some people feel with the devil that um, the things that you partake in are not of the light. And honestly, that could be anything. You know, some people, like I've known, we'll talk about people who like to go out and like have fun and party every weekend. Like, you know, in their mind, that's, you know, something dark um, because they like to have a drink on the weekend. You know, it could be anything. Um, but I feel like that's also, there's something regarding like the way that you live or your lifestyle um, that they deem unhealthy, okay? Um, now, the devil can also talk about um, you, using your physical appearance to like gain, gain things, even like socially, um, but get what you want as well too. So you could be a very attractive person, but people are taking it up a notch and saying like, hmm, well, you know, this person I feel like, you know, goes above maybe even beyond um, to kind of be, you know, overly S-E-X-U-A-L. And that could just be like, you're straight up like Erin Brockovich. You know, Erin Brockovich was a good looking girl. Uh, she worked in a law office, but her outfits were always talked about. You know, that was one thing that was predominantly put in the movie was that she was always judging up or using what she had to her advantage. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here. It could be something along that, like you use your looks, um, you know, to, to help you game things. And the devil is technically the con artist. So people could be gossiping about you in that sense. Like you, you kind of know how to get your way. And that could just be even with your charm, but it could also be the way that you, you know, dress physically. Now, they could also be talking about your obsession with somebody. Um, and I'm going to go with that, you know, like a huge spectrum here. Um, this could be just maybe jokingly talking about or gossiping about. And I think there's even like being made, you know, the butt of jokes as well, too, with your obsession with somebody. And it feels celebrity to me. You could have a celebrity interest or someone you're obsessed with or like a team or whatever it may be, or even a person in your life you know, um, who you, you know, like or fancy. And uh, they talk about this because it's like they know this about you. Um, but I feel like it's being made like lightheartedly, like in jokes. Like, I, I don't know what this is. Like when they think of you or when they talk about you, they know you as, you know, maybe your obsession with Taylor Swift. I don't know. Okay. Um, now, the other thing uh, with the devil is that this could also point to having like no shame. So I don't know what this is going to look like for each and every one of you, but there could be something that you've engaged with or you are like a way about you. People would be saying that you have no shame. So this could be as, you know, like for an example, maybe you come from a traditional family, but you speak up. Oh, but to them, you have no shame. You know, you don't know your place, something along those lines. Or it could be, again, the way that you dress, you have no shame, or maybe you are chasing your dreams and, you know, or, you know, maybe you are a forward person. Maybe you ask guys out, you don't wait for them to ask you out. That's no shame. I'm just giving you some examples here to work with, okay? Now, I do want to move to the other cards because we're, you know, seven minutes in. Um... So I got this card of self-obsessed. I can't really take this wand off because of the card. So if you're wondering, I just, I can't show it to you, but this card is self-obsessed. I feel like people talk about you like this, like you are just way too into yourself. You just think you're the, you know, bee's knees and um, like you just don't, you're not even like aware of what's going on around you. Some people could say that. 
Um, but this could also be that you have a very healthy ego, but people are portraying it like that. So just again, bear with me. Um, I am giving it to you like from their side, but this could just really be that you have a healthy respect for who you are and you love yourself. But for them, it comes across as egotistical. Okay. Now down here is interesting. We've got make poaching. I feel like here, this is really nasty. I think some of you, some people are, are, are this is goes beyond gossiping to me. This like feels like accusations and you could just be very, very beautiful. Okay. Very beautiful. Um, you know, but you're constantly being accused of, you know, I don't know, trying to get somebody's boyfriend attention or something like that. Or, um, you know, like it's misconstrued. Like, I don't think you're doing this, but I think if you understand this, you will. I used to get this like back in the day when I had different types of friends, they would never bring me around their boyfriends. And I never knew why I, I was never interested in their boyfriends, but um, they thought, I guess, I don't know. I was better looking than them. I don't know. Or that maybe their, their boyfriend would like me, but like, there's something talk being talked about with this. So I don't know if this is like one occasion where this happened, or if this is constantly happening to you, like girls that, you know, or, you know, don't want to bring you around their mates. So this is also being gossiped about, but I feel like it's being misconstrued, you know, instead of blaming the person who's looking at you, which is their mate, um, they blame you and say it's intentional. Like that's really dark and evil, to be honest. Okay, let's move over here. We've got opportunities await. So this man is walking through a door. Um, there's a lot of talk about your hustle. Okay, how you get what you want. What are you doing to get what you want? How are you always getting what you want? There's a lot like that. And um, always maybe, you know, um, you're kind of busy, you're jetting off, you're kind of distracted, you're going after your dreams. Maybe you don't have time for them. I don't know. But there's also a lot of gossip around that. Um, climbing the ladder, um, you wanting more out of life, stuff like that. Because even look at the bottom card, leveling up. So that was there. And you may have also, for some of you, just recently went through a glow up, you know, uh, maybe it's transformational, you know, physically or mentally or spiritually, but there's a lot of talk about like who you've become, who are you now, you know, uh, wow, you know, maybe there's also been massive change as well too, you know, that people are talking about, um, it's shocking. I feel like, you know, this energy of you. Um, you're doing the most out of everybody, you know, and this kind of reminds me like for me, like it, for example, in my own life, like if I tell somebody I'm a YouTuber, they're just like, Oh really? Like, it's so wow. Like really? It's so wow. It's 2023, you know? Um, but yeah, it's like that. I just feel like you're doing a lot because you got this card here of you will win in the end. You're always winning. You're always somewhere. You're always doing something. You're always, you know, drinking champagne. You're always celebrating something. I feel like there's people around you who want to celebrate with you. I feel like um, you've got it all going on, you know, and even if you are, some of that doesn't resonate with you. It doesn't matter. Um, if you consider a, yourself a person who is doing um, more or different unique things than, you know, the people that you know, um, that could be also, you know, applied to you. Now, we've also got this cat got nine lives. So there could be some talk and gossip about what you engage in, and it could be risk-taking. Um, I don't know how that's going to look like for you. Um, it could be that you go places that are dangerous. Maybe you get involved in situations that are dangerous. Maybe you're not afraid to walk on the wild side. Maybe you're also not afraid to do what you have to do to get those opportunities, okay? Um, but there is a lot of talk about uh, your strength and the bouncing back and how you even make it out of the things that you make it or whatever you're putting your energy into, like how you get what you get and how you got, got what you got and got out, <laughs> like how you made it um, something. So this could also be uh, very much uh, tied into kind of like, again, those opportunities, you know, walking through those doors, not being afraid to, because a lot of people are afraid to walk through doors. Those doors could be right there for people. And they are just too terrified because they just don't know what's on the other side. But you're not afraid to go all the way. You're not. You want to chase your dreams and you want to make things happen. Now, this is funny. There's a lot of talk about um, you being 
you know, somewhat of a love spell. You've been bewitched. Again, I think there's a lot of talk about how you are uh, getting what you get. Um, how do you even get the people you get? Because again, there's that devil energy of that con artist. Some people could be really thinking like you're a con artist. And that love spell would be kind of tied subliminally to that, like being a con artist. Because, you know, if you're doing a spell on somebody, right, that, that is kind of like a con, right? You're doing a con on somebody. You're making it, you're doing a trick, right? Um, but I feel like there's a lot of like confusion here about, you know, what are you doing? And listen, some people who are watching, you know, may have had that really be a common theme in their life. Like people asking them, like, what are you doing? Do you practice dark magic? Like, how do you get what you get? How do you uh, win over? How are you always excelling? What are you doing to get this? You know, um, I've heard some clients tell me stuff like that, that people like say stuff like that to them um, because they're just so successful that they think that they're doing something bad to get it. But I feel like with the love spell, I think also this pertains to the people who are gossiping. You've done something to these people. These people, I'm telling you, are obsessed. And um, I don't know. I think they actually need help. Some of them really do need help because you you they're very fixated on you and your life and where you're going and what you're doing. And I wouldn't be surprised here if you're being watched okay, with the devil. So these, I'm just giving you a little tidbit. You know, you'll have to catch the rest of the reading. But you may also be um, getting watched heavily online. Um, this may not just be about gossip, but taking also what they're seeing from you and and then using it as gossip so if you've got a lot of people who are lurking watching they're, they're they're gathering they are definitely gathering information on you because um again like talking about you gives them life wow that was a lot to take in okay so um pile three i really want you to let me know what you thought about this reading if it made sense uh let me know through the comment section i love reading your comments um, take care guys. I wish you all the best. Hi, pile four. Okay. I'm extremely excited to read for you today. This pile is going to be very interesting, but before we get into it, a couple things to note, um, I will be offering the extended reading, um, to this reading, uh, which will dive deeper into who is exactly gossiping about you. Okay. Who in your life are, is saying the things that we're going to pick up on today. Um, if you would like to check out my Patreon platform, it's a really good deal, guys. Um, you can have access uh, by joining to eight extra readings from me per month. Again, that's eight extra readings per month from me. So go check it out. It will be in the description box as well as the link will be in the comment section. Now, I do want to say that uh, this reading could be potentially triggering. So I do want you to keep a very open mind. I want you to understand that People are going to talk no matter what, and sometimes people don't necessarily see us for who we really are. So whatever they say does not matter as long as you have confidence and love yourself. That's all that matters, okay? If you'd like to also book a private reading with me, check the last two links in the description box. You can definitely um, check out those uh, platforms and book there. If there's anything that you like about this reading or if it resonates at all, Please consider letting me know. I love to hear the feedback. I love to read your comments. Okay, so I have incorporated the card that you felt the most gravitated towards on the thumbnail. I think it's important to incorporate. I've done this so far with every other pile. And, you know, I think it is important to incorporate it because, you know, why were you drawn to it? There has to be a reason. I don't believe in coincidences. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, the death card. Um... I think that you could be a person who has just recently had a big transformation in your life, a clearing out. Um, you may be doing something very new. Um, this could be, you know, coming through from the people who are, you know, you've left in the dust. Okay, very much so. But the death card talks about rebirth. So... I think what's on the table regarding gossip about you is how much you've changed. There's some big emphasis on change and I don't care what it is. I don't care if you've just changed your look. 
I don't care if you've changed your body. I don't care if you are literally just evolving and awakening and maybe, I don't know, distant. Um, because the death card can be a mysterious energy. Maybe to a lot of people, they're talking about how mysterious you've become, you know, like unpredictable, like what's going on? Who is this person? There's something of like an identity, like a changed identity. And, <clears throat> you know, it's interesting because even this card is here. I was surprised when this came out with the 180, you know, completely changed. Um, with you guys, I don't know how much you'll be bothered by this. I feel like, again, this could be people that you've left, left in the dust. Or this could be coming, you know, maybe from, you know, people who maybe you've switched up on. Maybe because, you know, you had good reason to. But... People are talking a lot about who are you? Like, who are you? What happened to you? You know, um, you're dismissive with this card as well um, over here. Um, very dismissive. Hush, hush. But I don't like this card over here with the witch hunt. Okay. Now, when I see that card, this makes me feel like people are seeking you out. Um very nosy energy like we want to talk about gossip yeah but it's going a little further for me when i see witch hunt and that is literally printed on what looks like in the photo like a, a computer keyboard so i feel like people are also kind of you know seeking you out um if you notice that like a lot of people are always trying to come at you or like you know people you don't want anything to do with or you've given them enough cues but yeah they're they're still here they're still lurking they're still watching um there's a lot of curiosity about you okay uh, and again it comes back to that death card because something about you has changed you're different you're different and you know it is causing um people to be even more obsessed with you um because again, when you don't really announce your change or you don't care to even talk to people about your change, you just kind of do it, that will also drive people nuts, right? So with the death card, um, it could be that, but it could also be to your forever changing. There could be something about your, you know, because a death card can talk about cycles as well too. Um, but this could also be very distant energy. So when people gossip about you, it could be people that are just wondering why you're not giving more. Why are you so kind of introverted? Um, you know, why does she behave like that? I am kind of seeing uh, through remote viewing somebody who's trying to get to know you and telling somebody else, like, I feel like I'm always pulling teeth with them. I'm always pulling teeth. It's always like me giving full energy and, you know, I'm not getting nothing back from them. This could be also something that's being said about you. Um, you don't talk much. You don't say much. Um, but listen, like, again, what I said, people's uh, perceptions of us could be, you know, very false. Maybe these are people you just don't want anything to do with, you know, because I could be the most social person. Um but if I'm not comfortable around you, I can be this person. So this could also be that with the death card. Um, I feel sneaky behavior here. Um, and there's a bunch of people I feel like even within, you know, maybe groups that are talking who are trying to seek you out. Um, this is really with the witch hunt serious, okay? And I'm not saying, you know, that you need to be scared or anything, but there's a curiosity about you because you don't say much. Maybe you're a type of person, you know, never mind. Maybe you haven't just changed recently, but this is just you, period. Very hush hush, very, um, you know, not the type to announce, you know, what you're doing. Or maybe you even keep yourself very low profile. You know, maybe you're not out there with that public profile or, you know, um, that need to kind of show people what you're doing. So people are seeking you out. And I do feel like there is gossip amongst a group of connecting with other people who are trying to find out information about you, which is interesting. You know, uh, we're here to talk about gossip. There's definitely gossip, but there's definitely like something else going on here. And I feel like here there could be also gossip with the caught out there card about something that maybe happened to you. Um Maybe something people want to talk about, you know, a downfall of yours that you had, 
you know, this is sad. This is kind of unfortunate. Sometimes our downfalls are public. You know, people know about it and then they want to talk about it. They always revert back to this one particular thing that happened to you. Maybe a moment in time in life where you weren't as strong, um, which is understandable. We're all there. But I feel like with the caught out there, they talk about this being caught out there. There's something that happened to you, something that... Um, you did or something that was found out it could be even like a scandalous thing um it may not even be something that you did maybe it was something that was done to you okay but i feel like they gossip about this as well too this is not nice you know and especially if this was done to you i don't know why they're t they're talking about this you know um it feels very malicious now, there could be a group of people or somebody who's also talking about the fact that you've control alt deleted them, okay, out of their life, out of your life. You've literally just, I don't know, like X them out, like gotten rid of them, um, don't want anything to do them. It's like, how dare she or he do that? How dare he or she? And I feel like it's also, again, a group of people who are also shaming you for this. So let's say, for example, this is your mother or a brother or somebody who was toxic, yet you just cut them off. People are talking about this, like how you could do that. Like just the act alone of, you know, discontinuing or discommunication with the person. It's like, Instead to even, you know, care about why you did it or ask questions, they're just, I feel like, persecuting you for this. Um, so there's also gossip about this, but maybe you have a type of personality like this as well. That could also be a thing. So let's say you're a person who's not the best at responding to messages or texting back, or maybe you go AWOL, or maybe you go missing. Um, this could also be something that's gossiped about, um, you know, why do you do that? Why do you take five years to, to message back? Why do you like not show up? Why do you um, say you're coming and then don't? It could be stuff like that. You know, you'll just have to take what applies to you. Um, but with the control all delete, it's the action of that that is really being talked about. So you could, for example, have all of the right in the world to do what you're doing and you know, maybe those people even know the person that you, you know, excommunicated with and they know they're bad, but it's more about you. They talk about not why you did what you did and why you had a right to do what you did. So here we have the completely changed. We've got a 180. That person has changed. We don't know that person no more. Oh, who does that person think they are? You know, I, I feel like we've got also an energy of not being happy for you. You're moving on to like better horizons or wherever you are um, because you didn't take maybe these people along with you. I don't know. Or you didn't feel the need to check in with them about this change. But there is a really big emphasis on you changing. And we've got also here easily distracted. So this could also be, you know, again, you know, maybe they don't think, you know, you have good intentions. Maybe they feel like, you know, when they are around you, you're not paying attention. Um, you kind of show, you know, her face is interesting for me. I feel like what's being gossiped about you is your lack of caring, or maybe some of you like straight up do this to people who annoy you, you know, just really act smug and really pretend like you don't even hear what they're saying, but that's just your way of maybe like, you know, getting back at them. Uh, for their behavior, but they talk about this, how rude it is, like the way that you interact with them. You don't even care. You don't even listen to me. Um, what's up with that? You know, why? Why Why did, Why is she doing this? How rude is she or he? Um, why doesn't she um, care? Why doesn't she care? Why is she acting? Why is she so rude? You know, why does she seem like she's purposely doing this? This is gossip. And I do feel like with these people who are doing this gossip, they're literally calling up other people for like some sort of, I don't know if this feels like a victim, victim mode where I need somebody else to validate my feelings. It, that's also something I'm seeing. And then we've got the distance. 
you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. So again, we've got another common theme here of dismissive, distanced, um, you've changed. Um, again, these could definitely be people that you've left in the dust. Um, they don't seem the nicest to me in a way. I feel like they don't really try to kind of understand who you are as a person. So if that makes sense to you, I totally get why you're doing what you're doing because maybe there's no winning with these people, okay? Um, but this is what people are saying about you. This is what they're gossiping about. This is the type of gossip they're spreading, but they're not just spreading gossip. I feel like they're actively trying to figure out what you're up to. And like, I mean, actively with that witch hunt, you know, maybe even looking every day. Um, I do see a lot of obsessive energy, um, maybe even trying to join places that you go to or, you know, be in the same area as you, maybe even online um, or join groups that you're a part of. And it's like, what are you doing here? You know, um, that could also be a thing with the witch hunt. The witch hunt takes it up for me on a, a, a couple notches. OK, um, so yeah this is your reading let me know uh pile four if this makes any sense to you in the comment section i would love to hear your feedback take care guys hi pile five okay before we get into your reading a couple things to note um this could be a very triggering reading okay um i just want to put that out there as a warning um please keep an open mind don't take anything too seriously this is meant for fun um and just know that you know people are always going to talk they're always going to talk okay but as long as you you know love yourself and have confidence in yourself that is all that's going to be you know that matters okay um if you would like to catch the extended reading to this reading um, that will be offered through my patreon platform um you can find that link within the description box or the comment section um it's going to be on who exactly is you know talking this gossip or talking this smack about you and if you do want to check out my Patreon platform, it, it's a pretty good deal, guys. You know, if you like my style of reading or my content, you can gain access to eight more readings from me per month. So it's quite the good deal. And if you'd like to also book a private reading with me, check the last couple links in the description box and you can book through those websites. Um, if there's anything that you like about the reading, please don't hesitate to let me know. Like the video, comment. I love reading your guys' comments. Um, so please do that should you, again, feel guided to and also resonate. Okay, so this one's a bit humorous for me. Um, I have to say, even though we're not kind of on topic with me saying this, but you're quite lovable. I, I think you are gossiped about, but you're also quite lovable, okay? I feel like people can't help but love you. Um, but I just want to say first and foremost, so... I did put the, the card that you were attracted to right here. I do think it's important to incorporate that card because why were you attracted to that card, right? I don't believe in randomness or coincidences. So like we need to talk about the chariot and that will obviously, you know, give you more of an insight, uh, you know, towards personality traits you may have that maybe get, be getting get gossiped about. Okay, so let's talk about the chariot. Um <clears throat> The chariot nor thinks nor feels, okay? It just moves. Um, it acts. Um, there could be something here with, you know, an aspect of your personality, you know, where, you know, that is being gossiped about. Like, does that person think? Do they even have, you know, a process from their head to their mouth? Or do they just say whatever is coming out? Now, when I drew this card right underneath with the childish behavior, some people, and this makes me feel like this is older people, but some people could feel like sometimes you just have no filter. You just don't have no process. Are you even thinking about what you're saying? And that could be with respect to anything. I'm not saying that you're mad, um, but just what comes out of your mouth is just mind blowing sometimes. And it could be like, you know, uh, spitting the truth. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we have some fire signs here because fire signs are good at that. You know, really just shaking up the room and saying what everybody else wants to say, but cannot, you know, because those fire signs, they got that, you know, bravery, uh, but you don't have to be a fire sign. So there could be something that is um, gossiped here with respect to that. Like, do you have any holds bar? Do you have any filter or is everything you say just, you know, that blunt? Um, 
Now, the, the, the chariot can be a masculine card. So I think there are some people here that may get gossiped about in, with respect to how masculine they are. And that could be from anything, you know, it doesn't have to be um, about like, you know, who you're attracted to. It could just be that you're a strong female. You know, I've been called that. I've been called a shark so many times. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, first of all, um, that this is actually divine feminine power. Um, but unfortunately in the world, people see it as masculine. It's actually, when you're like that, you're actually more in your feminine. But that's a big misconception that I don't really have time to talk about today. But I'm just saying, I think there could be something about that as well too. Like for a girl, you're pretty masculine. Um, you're pretty, you know, uh, brave. You maybe do things or you engage in things that are more masculine. The chariot does rule over vehicles, so I do feel like there could be something about um, <laughs> the way that you drive. I don't know. There could be some gossip about the recklessness um, because that chariot is a fast-moving energy, okay? And I literally just saw somebody, like, holding, you know that handle in the car? <laughs> I just saw somebody holding that. So I don't know if we've got some fast drivers here. But I feel like people legit worry about, you know, your driving, okay? It's gossiped about, um, you know, not in a, you know, cruel way, because that wouldn't be very cruel, but there's comments like, oh my goodness, like, I worry about that person on the road. Uh, I don't want to get in the car. It's almost like funny in a way. Um, it's a comment that's associated with you sometimes, you know, like, you know, oh, you're, they're going to drive me home. Oh, no, that's okay. I'll take, I'll take the public bus. <laughs> <laughs> something like that um now the chariot also never makes fashion mistakes um they're very you know conscientious um there could be an emphasis on your fashion um your clothing lots of gossip about this and listen the chariot also you know can pertain to like the money that you make and i think you we had we could have some people here um who do make a good you know coin and I think it is talked about, too, about, like, what you have, um, you know, your items, your luxury items. I don't know, your clothing, uh, you have a house, you got a good job. This is also gossiped about. Um, and remember, gossiping can be positive and negative. It doesn't have to just be negative. Uh, when people are talking about anybody, that's considered gossiping, okay? Um, now, to the left of this card, we've got the encrypted card. I think to some people, you're very hard to figure out. There's ways about you, that the way you move. And it doesn't have to be that you're shy at all. We're not talking about introverts right now, but you could have some ways about you that just have people really scratching their head. And I wouldn't be surprised too if we had some people here who have like that five life path number because the fives are always on the move or always switching it up or changing or they're actually the, the child. If you have a life path five that you just never know what's going to happen with them because they're that unpredictable um there could be you know you could be in an enigma okay to people um when they're gossiping about you like i just i can't figure that person out what are they doing with their life what are they doing with this why are they here why are they there they should be doing this i feel like a lot of people gossip about what you should be doing like their opinions are like where you should be what you should be doing um, that could be tied into traditions, but I just feel like with the encrypted card, you're hard to figure out. And um, this is more than one people, more than one person getting together and saying, yeah, I noticed that too. Like the way they move, I just don't get like, why did they make that move? Why are they doing like that? You're hard to figure out. Now to the right, we have dragging their feet in committal. Okay. I think for some of you watching, there could be a huge gossiping ring around the fact that you haven't found anybody, which is really sad. Um, you know, like, why aren't you with somebody? Why aren't you married? Why haven't you found your person? Um, I actually do hear, too, that they're blaming you and the way that you are. Um, that's why you can't find that. Um, maybe they have, again, those opinions of the way that you live and, you know, it could be old school, like you'll never find a husband behaving like this. You know, we could have a lot of people here who are very modern. You know, if this is not resonating, just listen to the message in its entirety. Okay. But this could also be for another set of people, whoever you're with, 
They could be talking about who you're with and the fact that um, that person's not committing to you. There could be some nasty gossip around something they know about the way another person behaves with you. So let's say if you have a boyfriend who's a cheater, um, you know, or not committing to you, doesn't even have to be a cheater, just not even making that, you know, you can't find anybody. It's sad. I know this is very hurtful. Um, but like I told you, it would be right. Um, just, you know, again, take it with a grain of salt. You know, it's, the gossiping says more about these people than it does about you. But I feel like here there's just something and it's either you can't, you know, find a commitment or you can't make a commitment or it could be that um, the person that you're with is not committing to you. And this is gossiped about, you know, like what's happening here? What are they doing with this person? Those types of things. Now we've got here unwilling to share. I think you could be very tight lipped about your personal life. This is also, I feel like through gossip, people are trying to find out about you. So gossiping can also be a thing where you call up other people or you get together with other people and you exchange info or you're both trying to do, I don't know, like research and you're trying to figure out like what's happening with a person. You can also be gossiping that way. I feel like that's also happening here with group five. There's a lot of people really curious about as much information that they can get on you because you don't share. I'm not saying that you're not friendly, but I think you probably draw a line with very personal things. And maybe that can even be with family. Sometimes family doesn't need to know everything, but they also talk about this too. Like, why wouldn't this person come to me? Why wouldn't they confide in me? Why don't they talk to me? There could be, you know, situations like that where maybe they see you dealing with something, but you don't come to them about it. There's gossip around that for some of you. We've got mob mentality here as well. Okay. So for some of you, you could have quite the temper on you. Um, but I'm going to put it out there because I know all kinds of people find my videos. You could be associated to the mob. Mm -hmm. And that could also be something that people gossip about. And we all know there's going to be gossip with that. Okay. So I'm just putting out there for that maybe one person, you know, who's catching my video because I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and then we've got holding grudges. So sometimes people talk about your inability to get over things. I mean, they could be really abusing you, you know, and you have every right, you know, to hold this grudge or, you know, to distance yourself. But they're talking about this. Like, why do you hold on to things? You know, why don't you just get over it? Get over it. You know, they're talking to other people about this, about how ludicrous this is. And you know, um, this can be also, you know, uh, downsized to maybe, you know, passive aggressiveness sometimes, you know, maybe you don't like something that someone said, something that someone said, and you're like, okay, I'm going to like put them in a timeout box for a couple of weeks. And that person now who can't get a hold of you is now calling other people talking about this. Oh my God. So ridiculous. She put me in the timeout box. She doesn't not answering her phone doesn't want to talk to me. And the other one's like, yeah, she does that to me too. It's, it's just more of that. Um, and that's also, I feel like equated to the childish behavior. Um, people talk about your, the way you are is childish. You don't need to be, you're not even childish at all. Okay. Again, remember that's what these people are saying, but there are some of you out there. Um, people think you're straight up childish. Okay, in their opinion, um, but it doesn't have to be true. Now we've got over here intuition, the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. I think a lot of people think you make a lot of mistakes in life and they're there to witness it. And unfortunately, uh, when they witness it, they talk about it. So I feel like here there could be, again, things that have come back to bite you. And unfortunately, maybe those things were public. Uh, they were made public. Maybe people talked about it. Maybe you confided in people, but maybe people spread it, okay? That's also a form of gossiping. And um, this is also something that they just don't understand about you is that, you know, the way you move, especially with that chariot sometimes, could be a little reckless. Maybe you jump into things. Maybe you don't know when to leave things. Um, but I feel like with this group, some of you have maybe 
had a lot of, you know, your downfalls witnessed, witnessed by others. And they will never stop talking about this. I don't know. It gives them life. It really gives them life. So with this um, spread, I think you are e very easy to love. Even though I've mentioned all these things, I think people, even though they gossip about you and say these things, very much still want to be around you. They love you, but they just don't understand you. And there's things sometimes that you do that they just, and they feel like, I feel like they also feel like even if they talk to you about it, they just can't get it into your head, you know? So if you do find that a lot of people try to give you unsolicited, you know, advice, that could be also something here. Because I do feel like these people, I don't know, want to save you or try to help you. But like, again, it's your life to live. Um, but again, you're hard, not, you're, hard, you're, you're, you're hard not to love, okay? Um, there's just a few things here and there. It's not as bad as some other piles, okay? Um, but this was your reading. Um, let me know what you thought about it through the comment section. I would love to hear it. Take care, guys.